Oh, hi, Tom. I did want to comment on uh, Bernie Sanders' vote because I think it's really, really important. And as you probably know, he has told people that he does not support a ceasefire in the Israel-Gaza war. But what he did say was, and I think it's worth just taking what he said exactly as he said it, is that he said we have to tell Israel, and this is a quote on the Senate floor, Israel, you're not going to get more money unless you very, very much change both your military strategy, which is horrific, inhumane, and in violation of international law, and harming the interests of Israel for generations and of Jews worldwide, and by the way, change your political strategy. Yep. That's well, that's, what he I, said. I included and both I'm of those things you, in my article saying, you know, if we're going to cut a deal with the Republicans, the aid to Israel has to be contingent on accepting a two-state solution and ending the bombing. So that's why I think this is my reason for calling you. He said this three days after the Department of National Intelligence, the Director of National Intelligence produced for the Senate eyes only that was later leaked by three sources and published in CNN on December 13th. You can look it up that the dumb bombs, the U.S. dumb bombs are responsible for most of the densely packed civilian deaths mm -hmm. and since the last ceasefire, we know it's been 300 a day killed, but it's been 19,000 killed in total. It's been 40,000 injured, 1.8 million displaced, 54% of the structures in Gaza destroyed. And Tear said in the New York Times five days ago, in this century, we've seen nothing like this except in Stalingrad, right. where Hitler bombed them into oblivion and tried to starve them. Now, why is that? What the DNI said and what Bernie knew when he voted on December 6th, well, he announced he'd vote against the $10 billion slush fund with no strings, not the $4, million iron dome, $4 billion iron dome, the $10.1 billion slush fund. What he was relying on was the DNI's report that of the 29,000 air-to-ground bombs that we've dropped on Israel, we, because we supplied them to Israel, one half of them were dumb bombs, dumb yep. bombs that blow up whole blocks. Yep. We didn't do rooftops. We didn't do rooftops to get them out of the building. We just blew them all up. And then they said there's 5,000 MK-82 bombs that were also supplied. So 20,000 bombs, 19,000 people killed. And what Bernie said was, if we do not protect Israel against itself by demanding war aims that can be compatible with their long-term security, then we become complicit in war crimes. I completely agree. That's I mean, happened. this is all about Netanyahu trying to save himself from going to prison for being corrupt. As long as he, he's playing the same game Trump is trying to get, uh, play, as long as he's in power, he can keep himself out of jail. And he's trying to rig the judicial system to do it. And, and you know, uh, I just... Yeah, I, I, there's got to be Israel after Netanyahu. There's got to be, Patrick. I, I want to say one last thing about Lieutenant Ben Hodges, Lieutenant General Ben Hodges. He oversees the army in Europe. Mm -hmm. And he said, if you want to destroy Hamas, you have to destroy the cause of Hamas. Exactly. And the refusal to accept a two-state solution and the 3,000 injured and the 300 killed since October 7th, the expanding settlements is the root cause. And he said a military strategy alone is guaranteed to fail. Yep. And he said, if you want to end Hamas, you've got to end Hamas, not just in Gaza, but in Lebanon, Syria. Iran and Qatar, where you can't get to them because we can't carry out assassination campaigns exactly. without destabilizing the Middle East. So we have to have a solution. And what Bernie also said was no long term military occupation, no more blockade, and the denial of water sovereignty, where they're drinking polluted water and water yeah. infested with salt, and the cutting off of food, the cutting off of water, the cutting off of electricity, and the targeted assassination of journalists and the assassination of medical workers, which has been happening, and the destruction of hospitals, and, and the AI robotic targeting through an algorithm of bomb packages, because they're tracing cell phone signals and bombing within a 300-yard radius of where they think a Hamas leader is and taking out dozens and dozens of civilians. Right. And we own this 100% as Americans. Yep. We own this, the whole, the, all of it. And Bernie's the guy who said, cut off their funding, make them come to the table, they will do what's required, and then we will not be destabilizing the region, and we won't be complicit for war crimes. I completely agree. I completely agree. Patrick, thank you.